Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing our first installment of Art is Fun with Nona. And I'm Nona, and I also have a very special guest that's going to help me with our lesson today. This is lesson one, and we'll be studying line and shapes. I want to introduce you to my very special friend, Heidi. Hi. How are you, Heidi? I'm doing good. I'm excited. I know, you're going to do so good. Heidi's a very creative person. She likes to do crochet, she likes to do art, so this is right up her alley. Let's get started. So today, as I mentioned, we're going to be studying lines and shapes in lesson one. Our first two shapes we'll talk about today are circles and ovals. An oval is a kind of a round shape too, isn't it? And what I want you to remember as you're trying to draw these shapes, you may seem to be frustrated at times. You may think maybe it doesn't look exactly like my shape. That's okay. We're learning and you're going to be getting better. Be easy on yourself and just try to draw it the best that you can. You can draw more than one too if you have a big enough sheet of paper. So Heidi's going to try to draw this now. Very good. Let's see what Heidi's done. There's her circle and there's her oval. And it's good to practice a lot too. Maybe not right now when we're learning, but as you're just going through your day and you have a little time, Pick up a pad of paper and just keep practicing the shapes because everything that you see and everything that you draw can be reduced and be made into these simple shapes. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to make our simple shapes of ovals and circles into a bare face. This is what your bare face will look like when you're through. First you draw a circle, Heidi drew her circle, and then there's two circles for the ears. If you think about a clock, you can put an ear at 2 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and 2 o'clock. Okay? And be sure to make the circles large enough so that you can put another circle inside. And then you'll want to put your eyes above a larger circle in the face. That's the bear's muzzle. Good. Now you're going to do kind of a partway oval, just a little arc and a dot for the nose and a line that connects them. Very nice. I think I like Heidi's better than I like mine. And then you can put little dots on his face for the whiskers. Very good, Heidi. There, I think Heidi did a really good job with the bear face. And as we learn these shapes, now we're going to learn about some more shapes and we'll build more pictures. The next one we're going to do is first the square and then the rectangle. A square is a figure that has all the sides are equal and there's four sides. A rectangle has four sides just like the square, but Two of the sides are the same, and two are different. That's what makes this one very long on one end and very short on the other. You could just do a lot of different ones with the, with the rectangle. The square, you kind of just have to do larger and smaller squares. Okay. All right, and here's what Heidi did. There's her square and the rectangles. So those are fun, too. Then we're going to make a shape called a semicircle. A semicircle is really just a circle that's been cut in half. And it can go different directions. Like, if I turn it this way, this almost looks like a ship. If I turn it this way, we can make that into a setting sun. All right, let's see what Heidi said. There we are. We've got our semicircles right there. Very good. I think we're ready to draw something else. Now we're going to build on our first drawing, which was the bear's face, and we're going to build a bear. We're going to build a whole bear. You can make it bigger. Yeah, you can. That's right. Yeah, that's what, and Heidi's doing that. She's taking the bear face that she's already made, and she's putting a body on it. So we make a, a circle for the body. And then we can make a smaller circle inside of that circle for the bear's kind of his front and his tummy. Very good. 
and then you can make these little they're almost like squares with a little semicircle on the top. Yep. That's his hands. And there's his little feet. Very good. Excellent. There's Heidi's little bear. Great job, Heidi. But I think the little bear is lonely. So we're going to make a friend for the bear. And I decided to do a penguin because there's lots of circles and semicircles in the penguin. So first of all, we're going to draw a round circle for the head and then a round circle underneath for the body, which is a bigger circle. This is bigger than this one. Very good. And then there's a, a semicircle. Remember, we learned about the semicircle. Right here is the tummy. Good. And then he needs a couple of feet. That, those can be little ovals at the bottom. And little ovals for the arms. Because penguins don't fly, do they? And then on the face, it looks like a letter M. Good, Heidi. And then we'll make an oval for the mouth and put a line through it because he's got two lips. Or he's got two parts of his bill. Penguins really don't have lips. And then two dots for the eyes, little circles for the eyes. Awesome! I think Heidi needs to be teaching this. She's very good. All right, let's show Heidi's little penguin. Very nice. But, so now we've got a bear and a penguin, but what I thought might be fun is to make a whole picture using the bear and the penguin as friends. And I have to tell you, I'll tell you at the end, and I want you to think about something. What's wrong with this picture? So we're going to start step one on the left side of your page and make it large height. I mean, it's going to be a whole nother paper. That's right. Get a new piece of paper, guys. All right. So first of all, we're going to draw the bear's head just like we drew in the first drawing that we did. Very nice. Yep. And you know what? We got erasers if you make mistakes, just like I do. <laughs> That's okay. Sometimes the eraser can be your best friend. All right. Then we're going to do the ears on the bear. Circles on the ears, right? And then we're going to do circles inside the ears. Nice. Very good, Heidi. Then we'll make the circle eyes. And then probably the muzzle, the other circle, right underneath the eyes. Good. All right. And then a little circle for the nose. And I don't know if you guys think this looks like two J's back to back. But you can just do a little swishy thing. There you go. All right. Heidi's done a good job on that. Let's take a look. All right, Heidi. Got off to a great start. Now, I think you can guess we're going to draw the bear's body. So we're going to draw a large circle underneath the bear's head, and then we're going to do a smaller circle for the tummy. Okay, and then we have to do arms, which is kind of like a little semicircle. You can do them more like a rectangle, however you want to do, and then put a little semicircle on the end. Can't walk anywhere, so give him some legs. Nice. Very good. All right. Heidi's got her bear. There we go. Outstanding. All right. Now I'm just going to go back to the first drawing so that you can see the position of the penguin. So you put the penguin in the right position. Take a good look at that. 
So you want to make your penguin a little bit down, like it's a, it's a, there's a hill there, so the penguin is a little bit downhill. The penguin's getting ready to jump in the ocean because that's where penguins get their food. They swim in the ocean. It's almost like flying in water. All right, so now we're going to put the penguin in there. So again, put your penguin a little bit to the side of the bear, like it's downhill. Not too close to the edge. Yep. Okay, looking good. So then when we go to draw the body, we can draw the larger circle underneath the head circle. Nice. All right. And then what I would do is I would do this circle right here that's kind of the, the white part of the penguin. Oh, that's good. Nice. I like how you angle it. Very good. Okay. And now the head, we have to do like the big M. Yeah, Heidi did that very well. And then you got the eyes. Uh huh. And then his bill. Like the oval shape. Remember, we're talking about the ovals and circles a lot in this one. Very good. And Heidi even did the little eyes. The dark part of the eye is where you're looking at. So the penguin's looking up, and Heidi has done that. She has done the eyes looking in the direction, but now we don't have any legs or feet or wings, so we have to put the wings on the penguin. Yeah, he's saying hi. Uh-huh, and then about his little flipper feet. There we go. Ooh, nice. What do you guys think? I think she did a fantastic job. All right, now we're ready to make the hill that the penguin, it's a snow hill because it's really cold where the polar bear and the penguin are, so we draw the hill. So we start from this edge right here, right? And we're just gonna draw the line underneath the penguin. Good, and then it drops off. Excellent, very good. So there they are, it's just that. We see how powerful a line can be. That one little line, and now they both have something to stand on. Very good. Okay, we're almost done with our picture. Yay! Now the next step, since penguins like to swim so much, and penguin's getting hungry, so he's gonna jump in the ocean and get some fish, there's our waves. And the waves are just sort of like little arcs that you just make together. And the thing about this is it's a rhythm. There's a pattern here that's interesting to the eye that makes your drawing exciting. Almost finished. We have the, the water, the snow, but now there's somebody that's looking on. There's actually three friends here. So now we're going to draw the sun, and the sun is very easy to draw. It's a circle with a little arc for a smile, little eyes, and he's got some rays going out, some warm rays. That's another pattern. That's another repeating pattern of the rays that makes it interesting. Let's see what Heidi's done. I like the picture very, very much. One thing I did want to point out about her eyes. Again, these, these small parts of the eyes, the smaller circle that's going to be colored in black, that has to be pointed in the direction that the, the, the character is looking at that shows that they're looking in that direction. That'll make your painting a little more realistic. And it makes it fun because these two are connecting. They're looking at each other and then the sun is looking down. So it's kind of like a triangle, isn't it? So let's look at the finished product. Now Heidi's not gonna have time to color her drawing. She's got some colored pencils here. You could use colored pencils. You could use crayons. You can use paint if you have the right paper. But your drawing, should look like this in the end. And you know what? If you don't want to make your ocean blue and you want to make your ocean red or you want to make your bear a different color, you can be creative and do whatever you want. I just did what I thought the real animals might look like. But now at the beginning, I said, what's wrong with this picture? 
Heidi, do you have any idea what's wrong with that picture? It looks like everyone's pretty happy. They do. Polar bears and penguins don't really live together, do they? Polar bears live at the top of the world and penguins live at the bottom. So that was my little trick in there. I hope you enjoyed that. So we learned a little geography today with Art is Fun with Nona. So that's it for today. I hope you'll keep tuning in and I hope you'll keep drawing. Again, Heidi, thank you so much for joining me. I love your drawing. Hold it up because you can be proud of that. You did an excellent job. See you next time.